And why don't we move on to some other stuff? Um, yeah, let's do the daily. Which I'm told if I'm correct about when the daily cycle's over, this is an Eve's daily. Which, uh, hold on a second. That means... I said this before, but when we get Neves daily, I'm gonna knock out, like, three or four achievements. All at once. So, let's see, what what was I doing? Uh, we're turning on permadeath mode, we're being in under an hour. We're completing a daily challenge. We're... Um... And completing the game in permadeath mode using only Eves, and also the Turn It Down achievement. Where we play with the music muted. Once again, sorry, Danny. But you gotta understand, it's for the achievements. It's very important. Daily challenge, let's go. So, yeah, let's make sure, like, this. Yep, it is indeed Neves daily. Okay, so the, the first part of this run is the scariest, because until we can get a bottle, a lot of things are going to kill me on one hit, and I can very easily miss a beat and just die that way. Okay, well, we got the beat shop to the south of here, as is pretty standard. I'm kind of keeping my eye on the beat bars, which does mean that I'm paying a little less attention to the enemies around me than I usually am, so... Yeah. A lot of risks here. So this is, dailies are permadeath mode, which means the key items like these are, are scrambled too, and we'd really like to find flippers if possible. We found flippers. <laughs> okay. Um, the next thing on our list is getting to the Lost Woods area so that we can find the Risk Fountain. Oh, it's right there. Cool. That was terrifying. Pose will kill me in one hit. <laughs> Okay, so we gotta find, uh, we gotta find ourselves the beetle shops. There's one there. And we can get the diamonds up. Here, a little bit. Let's grab our loot. Um, things cost double here because it's permadeath mode. So we do need eight diamonds. Okay, yeah, this is so tense. Because <laughs> everything in this screen one-shots me right now. Okay, eight diamonds. Beetle shop's down there. Can we leave this side? Yeah, okay.
So we got that. Now we need to find a potion shop. I don't think I see one on the on the map yet. Well, for now we'll just head to activate some other important warp destinations. And that's just to despawn that slime. It's faster than fighting it. Blue guard would kill me in one hit. Gotta be careful with him. Grab some more diamonds. We'll be needing those later. We'll also want... No! 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 <laughs> okay, I'm gonna burrow this. It made a beeline back for me there. That was scary. Okay, uh, we got Torch of Wisdom over here. There's a potion shop to the south. Can also activate. I don't need to be in Kakariko, but um, the warp point might be useful. It's not Agro Kuka though. That <laughs> that that orange rupee. I want to go for it, but that Tektite is actually like booby trapping it. <laughs> The moment I try and, like, do anything with that slab to get up to it, I just die to the Tektite. Okay. Potion shop's down here. Okay, hold on. That's a solid wall on that side, and that's a black tech tight. I'm, uh, I'm gonna go around this way. Okay, we got a Lionel to take care of. Alright. Bottles filled. Alright, so, we've got our, our first layer of safety up. Now's a good time... Have we seen a Freddy shop? Yes, we have a Freddy shop there. So now's a good time to go get the glass shovel. And go... And go farm money. I'm just going to grab the glass shovel and go straight for the uh, Freddy shop so I can get my money up. Okay, where is it? Okay, right there. It's a little bit of an inconvenient location. I think I want to full clear this screen just so I can get fixed beat movement.
There's a, an Akarak up there. There we go. Uh, Glass Flail, I do not want Flails on my final boss. Alright. Now we farm up the exorbitant amounts of money. I think we buy the enchant weapon scroll too. This will let me get the bottle in the beach house. We're also halfway to the diamonds needed for the uh, second beetle shop. Which I don't think I've seen yet. Go for 1k, that should probably be enough. Gotta keep in mind, potions are expense. It's permadeath, everything's double cost. So, potions are 160. Goron Locket is 400. We need a lot of cash. Alright, I think we're good there. Let's go get the uh, second bottle now. I did get the telescope. I was a little unsure about that for a second. Alright, so we don't need the snorkel because we've got the flippers. We just need the bottle. Um, which we can then go immediately fill up for safety. Um, mountain area's up there, so we want to head back here. Um, we're gonna leave those on the ground. Because I, uh, need to bomb boost, uh, into back of Temple of Storms, which would break those. Need a few more diamonds still for a second beetle shop. Um, okay, it's right here. Ugh, double black tectite. There's no half blocks. God damn it. Oh, wait, no, there's one right there. Okay, I, I missed it. It's right in the middle of the screen. Down there. I was hoping to get my uh, the last two diamonds I need for my sec for my second beetle shop here. Okay, and then we bomb, kick, kick up. Wait, why was there no beat bar there? There was a conspicuous huge gap in the beat bar. I was still able to move. Did the song loop? Is that, like, part of their fix for, uh, the song loop double movement bug? Is there just isn't a beat bar there? <laughs> okay, um... Where is our other beetle shop? I don't see it yet. We're looking for the figure eight one. So it's probably over in this space over here somewhere, so yeah. Making use of that Kakariko village warp. Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> it's right here. Uh, we also need Goron Shop, which is uh, straight north from here. Alright, so we found every relevant thing. We're ready to just start beating the game.
Finally. Okay. So, grab these. We want bomb shoe fill. Um, let's fill up at the fairy fountain. Oh, wait, yeah. Also, I meant to check. Because we need to find hop uh, the one thing we still need to find if we can is a source of is easy hover boots. Well not hover boots, but I'll take those. I do have to remember I have a pair of these also sitting out um kinda by the lost woods. So let's uh, fill up our remaining bottles. Oops, I pushed the wrong button. Okay, it's fine, you know. We've got an extra there. All right, and now we start doing dungeons. All right, permadeath mode means there's stuff in these <laughs> rooms. Two diamonds. All right, let's go. I don't think I need a reflection torch right now. It's a little premature to be grabbing it. Oh, damn! Didn't notice that was exploding. So we're down to two full, two full bottles and two damage. Losing the glass slippers before getting into Gliok is unfortunate. I do want that. I guess we can we can grab the tower shield, like technically, you know, we will have Link and he can use the shield. So Alright. Nothing there of value. Let's go to the other floor. I don't really need that orange rupee, but I'm not going to pass up an easy orange rupee. Everyone in the pit. Uh, no hovers yet, though. Okay. Um, I do think I want to make sure I have all my bottles full before taking on a boss, so we're going to go grab the potion real quick. May as well grab the Greaves here. Should have grabbed that before doing the second dungeon floor here. Alright, so.
Uh-oh. Okay. Small misplay cost me one potion, but it's fine. One boss down. Let's go pay another visit to the fairy fountain just to get a free refill on this bottle. done. Um, yeah, this is actually right next to Poison Pond, so I think I'm going to go ahead and grab those. And go, go to Poison Pond to grab uh, an extra key. Alright, so we have Gorn Locket Flippers, right? Yeah, we are. Oh, I haven't actually unlocked the Rudo entrance yet though. Oh, well, I guess let's go there now. All right, courage shovel. Almost forgot about that. Probably be, uh... Oh, hovers. Okay, well... Hold on. I think we can probably get those to stay on the floor for now, because I don't want... I don't want to lose three damage. Yeah, there we go. Then the hovers get put, put where we killed the boss. So I can leave those there for now. And then after, um... After I do the rest of the dungeons... And I'm forced off of the, um, forced off the glass slippers. Anyway, we can, uh, we can swap then. Alright, um, we need one more key, I think. Actually, probably two more, because we do want to get, uh, Make sure we get a good weapon for, uh, we, like, we, we want to make sure we grab, like, Fragger Rock. Well, there's a free, uh, key over there. I'm sure. Okay, we do still have a uh, ball and chain guard sitting over here. Okay, and now base guitar miss. Lost the flawless. It's no big deal. Even even on Eve, I still have the instinct to go where the heart container would be. Um. Okay. So let's go to Frozen Grotto.
Okay. Sure, new courage shovel. And I think we are all good on these. So we're just looking for the exit, which, yeah, it's down here. Nothing in there, okay. There we go, Glass Spear for the end game. That's good. And Glass Slipper means we can just walk here. Also, I, I realized, uh, I just realized I never picked up Seed Spit, which is kind of important here. So let's activate that and go somewhere we... Okay, it's top left here, so we'll just go here. Now we should be able to kill Wizrobo very easily. Um, I believe that's how it goes. I need to just wait here. Lucky though, he's not doing another magic attack, just summoning wizard ropes. Flawless victory, um, we'll just grab the diamonds and go from there. Okay. Still on three full bottles, let's go ahead and get to the Lost Woods entrance. Yeah, it does. Which, yeah. I kind of find it funny that they made this one of the achievements. Need some space here. Came from here. Uh, I think the dark wolf also came from up above. Should we get plenty of money? Okay, so now we need the Hover Boots. Which means we're unfortunately going to be saying goodbye to 3 damage. But we just run in here, pick these up. And yeah, unfortunately the Black Slippers will despawn in that case, in that situation. Alright, so, right. We didn't need the Hovers. Oh wait, no, we don't have a Freeze. <laughs> If I had a freeze scroll, I could have, um, something that you can do there is, uh, um, freeze the, uh, ball and chain guard on the button there. Oh, wait, hold on. I want access to the Torch of Reflection later. Like, before we do Octavo. So I can't pick it up now. But if I push this slab, I can push the button and I can... And 
when I revisit this room, the torch will be put up by the purple chest. Oh wait, that doesn't... Hmm, okay. That does not work the way I thought it would. I thought I thought it put stairs on both ends, but it only put stairs leading to floor two. Okay. Okay, we're not looking to collect more keys, so we've already got an overabundance. That said, I'm not going to turn down one that's pretty much free. Which means uh, that we can afford to just, like, open Hyrule Legendary Chests and get useless junk a few times. So that's good. I would like more bomb chews before tackling the uh the Gomaracas fight though, so that Tyra's still sitting over there. Yeah. Unfortunately getting that tor torture reflection would take uh getting the slab down again. I think just a couple extra bomb juice should do it. Just to double check, yes, I still have three full bottles. Okay. We'll just leave that Dyra over there to chill. I'm just going to take the time to... Okay, there we go. Uh, I'm going to play it safe. Alright, so, um, I think we can just go ahead and grab the Torture Reflection now, I guess. It should last through Hyrule Dungeon, and, you know, we still got the hovers, so we still have the ability to do it now. So let's go grab it now. Torture Reflection is just super good for safety against Octavo, so I want it. Oh, interesting. The button clicked again when I stepped on it again. Oh, it just always clicks. Okay. Didn't know it did that, actually. Alright. So. So far, so good. I'll just go ahead and hit this to get my half heart back. Uh, I don't know that I actually wanted to touch that. Hopefully it doesn't show up as, um, show up in the Ganon fight. I do not want flails there.
Another extra key, because why not? Uh, I have an enchant weapon skull, right? Yeah, I do. Which I may w well use against Octavo. Okay. Easy floor layouts here, at least. Okay. I think we're just good to go straight into the fight. I didn't lose anything important. Do I want extra bomb chews as a safety measure? I guess so. Let's get more bomb chews again. Actually, come to think of it, would the Hyrule shop, uh, or the uh, Kakariko Village shop restock, uh, restock its glass slippers? I should go check that. I don't think it does. I could be wrong, though. It does. Nice. So we'll grab the, uh, those as well. Get three damage going. All right. So, Octavo fight. Gotta remember, permadeath mode. He has the ability to cast a confusion spell. There it is. Them, but I'll take it. Oh, yeah. All right, good. No Gliok heads. It's the Gliok free zone. Alright, no hit Octavo. Good fight. Um, alright, yeah. Still full bottles. So we do want to be checking a uh, gold chest for Fragorak. Just to make sure we don't get screwed over by breaking glass. Don't want Hylian Flail. Okay, not that way. Oh, uh, yeah, we have the map now. It's bottom middle. I don't like anything that's going on here. Can you move away?
Okay, there's the gold chest. I'll grab the compass just for just for the hell of it. Don't really need it. I can read the map well enough. Not the weapon I'm looking for. I don't like this fireball. Should have bombed it when I when I was uh, around it earlier. I don't entirely understand how they move. I guess they like tend to hug walls, but it's unclear which wall they're hugging. Because they always just look like they're facing upwards. Yeah, unfortunately, with the way the chain the chain uh, chain guards work, it's really unlikely they're going to move because the chain limits how far apart they can move from each other. Okay, we'll just go up. We'll go up here and funnel them through the choke point. <laughs> Lever. Yeah, it's a panic button. Sure, new torch of reflection. Want to make sure the torch lasts the Ganon. Gives me a little safety against Lynels. So, getting the top up on that is good. Just kind of letting these fireballs take care of business a little bit. Oh, not paying attention. You got a lot closer than I realized. Whoops. Okay, so now we're down to damage and I've lost a potion. Okay, there's the weapon I'm looking for. Thank you, Link. Okay, we only lost one, right? Yeah, we can just easily, really, really easily back up to the, uh, the potion shop at the uh, entrance to the dungeon. I'm just going to bomb this whole lot. That's a lot of crap I don't want to deal with. And we're done. Now all that's left is to top up our equipment a bit. We can grab Greaves from Temple of Storms as well, just for that little bit of extra safety. Oops. That is not what I meant to do. Oh, that's fine. Just loop back out. <clears throat> And now we go grab our Greaves. What's my timer at? 42 minutes. Yeah, we have plenty of time. Should also top up on bombs. I don't plan on doing bomb strats because I'm they're prone to I'm prone to get myself hit doing them. But anyway, we should in theory. Have a glass sphere with with Fragrock as a backup for Link and Zelda. And now I know broadswords do knockback, so you know, because that's what killed me last time I tried this. Oh God, it's the flail! Why is it the flail? Okay. Well, it's the flail, I guess. It's 
Spear was the first, uh, the glass spear was the first glass weapon I picked up, so I, I was under the impression that that would mean that it's the one I have. Eh, not good positioning there. Okay. Oh, we're making it work. I don't want to... Oh, sarcophagus. Um, this is not good positioning. Ah! I couldn't even see the queue there because it was... It, I, I thought I they got... It got obscured by the queue from the... Freaking... Dark Knot Swing. Okay. Let's deal with the fire bat here. Uh oh. Okay, good. Zelda was able to bait out an attack from the Dark Nut. <laughs> okay, let's... Okay, Sarcophagus has to go. Whoop. Okay, that's fine. We've got the Torch of Reflection. Okay. Uh, did we lose? We lost one. Oh yeah, here. I should have... This is a panic button. Yeah, bad positioning again. This broadsword flail combination is really awkward to set up for hits. Okay, there we go. Got one. More sarcophagi, no! Get out of here. Um. There we go. Last hit. Okay, now we just gotta... We need to get these back back to safety. Let Zelda handle the rest. Alright, we did it! How many achievements is that gonna be? Let's let's look at the pile up. <laughs> let's look at the pile up. <laughs> Unarmed and dangerous. Virtuoso. Allegro. Turn it down. Sight reading. There we go. <laughs> the quintuple achievement run. <laughs> and let's look at this. And oh, no, there's another entry on the leaderboard. Someone else did it. I'm glad to see other people are doing the Eve's dailies. I'm not the only one here. <laughs> that was a, that was a fun run. Permadeath Eve's daily in under under an hour with no music. <laughs> that's, that's just a that's a real pile. <laughs> uh